Hi, I'm Carl from Apt, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a closer look at the newest Samsung sound tower, the MXT40. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to click the link in the description after the video to see all of our latest prices, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to see all of our latest content. This is the smallest of the sound tower speakers, standing at 20.9 inches high, 11 and a half inches wide and 10.6 inches deep, and it weighs about 15 pounds. It has a triangular shape that gives it a pretty unique appearance. Down the sides are gonna be some black aluminum grills that cover the drivers, and just underneath the drivers are some LED lights. At the top, there's a little display window that shows you operating messages and the current status of the speaker, and right under that are all the controls. Starting in the middle is the play and pause button that can also be used to skip or repeat a song. Then at the top is your power button. After that is source select, which can also be used to wirelessly pair the speaker with compatible Samsung TVs. After that is volume up, and at the bottom is the bass button. A short press on that one enhances the bass, or a long press turns the Bluetooth power function on and off. When that function is turned on, the speaker will automatically power up when you connect a Bluetooth device. Then there's volume down, and last is the light button that lets you scroll through five different lighting themes, or you can turn the lights off completely. Moving out of the back, you've got some more buttons as well as all of your inputs and connections. First is for Bluetooth pairing, and you can actually pair two devices at a time to this one. Then you have Add Stereo, which lets you sync this with another MXT40, and yes, it does have to be the same model to create a stereo pair and expand the soundstage. Wireless Group Play is next, and that lets you uh, wirelessly connect up to 10 sound towers together to create a larger area of sound, but unlike the stereo pair mode, Group Play can incorporate any of the sound tower speakers, 40, 50, or 70. That feature does not work, however, if you have the sound tower wirelessly connected to a Samsung TV. Under the Group Play button is a USB input, which can be used to hook up a thumb drive or to do a firmware update, and it works with both FAT and FAT32 file systems. To the left of that are an auxiliary input and output that can either be used for wired Group Play, which lets you actually hook up as many sound towers as you want, or the input can also be used to hook up an analog audio source like a CD or Blu-ray player, um, or even an older gaming console. Then there's an auxiliary mini plug input, and finally, all the way down at the bottom is your power plug connection. Now, to control the MXT40, you get a pretty comprehensive remote. I'm not going to go through all the buttons in this video, but the important ones are sound mode, which lets you choose from a variety of different profiles based on the style of music you're listening to, DJ, which adds different effects to your music, and tempo, which lets you adjust the tempo of the music, but that particular button only works on music being played back from a USB thumb drive. There's also the Gigaparty audio app from Samsung that you can download for Android or iOS devices, which gives you some additional control over the sound tower. So how does it sound? Here's a demo to give you a better idea. For a speaker its size, it's pretty full sounding. You get clear vocals and a decent amount of bass. It's got two woofers that each get 100 watts and two tweeters that get 50 watts each for a total system power of 300 watts. It's not necessarily as refined as other speakers with this kind of power, but it doesn't really need to be. This isn't exactly a sit back and relax type of speaker. It's meant more for a party type of atmosphere when your focus isn't necessarily on the details of the music, but more on just having fun. At this price point, I definitely call the MXT40 a good value. It's got several inputs, lots of power, and it's great for party type situations. If you want to purchase or you have any questions on the MXT40, be sure to contact our experts here at Apt. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.